Okay, in this lesson, we're going to find the determinant of a five by five matrix. Okay, so this is going to use um, a combination of techniques, um, but the main thing is that we're going to still use the uh, cofactor expansion. Okay, so like I said before, okay, you want to use the row or column with the most zeros. Okay, so we can see just at glance here, um, we can use the second row here. Okay, so we're going to focus on that one. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just mark this one. Okay. So, and, okay, so that's using this, okay, starting with this value, and let's re recall the sign conventions. We have plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Okay, so this is for five by five, okay? All right. Okay, so we start with two, okay? So that's going to have, uh, for that particular cofactor, um, we need the value, we're gonna use, it's gonna be minus two, okay? So minus two times the determinant of the sub matrix. So it's gonna be four, zero, three, minus five, seven, three, Four, negative eight, five, zero, two, negative three, zero, zero, negative one, and two. Okay. So again, um, we're using the second row because those are the ones with the most zero. Um, I could have also used the second, uh, the second column. Um, regardless, it's going to give you the same result. Okay. All right. So now we need to find the determinant of this one, okay? And that's the only one because two is the only non-zero value in that particular row. So once we find the determinant of this, then we're done, okay? So going over here, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to this. Okay, so let's focus on this determinant. Uh, let me use green here. Okay, so, so I have four, zero. Oops. Three minus five. Seven, three, four, negative eight. Five, zero. 2 minus 3, 0, 0 minus 1, and 2. Okay. So again, we need to find the determinant of this one. And again, so we notice that uh, the second column here has only one non-zero value. So I'm going to use that uh, to, find the, to help us find the determinant. Okay. All right. So focusing on this one. Okay. Okay, so using the sign convention, remember that so this is for the four by four. So this is plus, minus, plus. Okay, so this is going to be plus three. Okay. Times the determinant of the sub matrix. Four, three, negative five. Um, five, two, minus three. 0, negative 1, 2. Okay. So for this, okay, so for this matrix, we can use that uh, diagonal line approach. Okay. So let's do that down here. So once we get that, okay, we, get, we plug it, we multiply it by 3, and then we plug it back into here. 
and multiply it by, by 2, uh, by minus 2, and then we'll get our, then that will give us the determinant ray. All right, so we have 4, um, 3, negative 5, 5, 2, minus 3, 0, minus 1, 2. Okay, so I'm using that diagonal line approach. So I'm going to take the first column, put it here, take the second column, okay, and place it here. Okay, all right, and then multiply. Okay, so let's draw our diagonals. All right, so we're going to get, um, remember that we're going to subtract these. So, so 0, we get 4 times minus 3 times negative 1. That's going to give you positive 12. Here we get uh, 2 times 5, 10 times 3. That would give us 30. Okay. And then we're going to add to these. So 4 times 2 times 2, that's going to give 16. Uh, we have a 0 here, so that's going to give 0. And then negative 5 times 5 times negative 1, that will give you positive 25. Okay. Adding those up, okay, um, you get minus 1 here. Okay, so that is, okay, so that's going to go back into here, all right, and then we're going to multiply by 3 and then multiply by minus 2. So therefore, the determinant of, of A is minus 2 times 3 times negative 1. So we end up getting the determinant of 6. Okay, so that's how it works for uh, for a for finding a matrix of something uh, larger than a three by three. Um, it's basically it's a recursive uh, process. Okay, so you just keep you just keep applying the formula. Okay, until you get until you get something down to something smaller, and then you go back and plug in those values at the end. Okay.